No. Okay. How's it look? It looks good. It looks it looks fire. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Put that in. Put that in there. All right. So, uh, like earlier, I was talking about. I'm going to show you guys how to do kind of uh, steady buttery shots, if you want to say, with the gimbal. So I got my buddy Caden's car back there, and I'm just going to do a couple of clips. Caden can kind of show what I do, and then I'll put the clips on screen. We'll make a little edit at the end. So. And this is Oscar from the future speaking now. So um, I noticed while editing this video that I didn't really um, go into much detail about how to get the buttery smooth uh, footage that you kind of want when using a, a gimbal like a Ronin M. But uh, I'll go ahead and talk to you guys now. So um, basically what you want to do, as you can see, I'm kind of walking heel to toe and the upper portion of my body is kind of locked into position. Um, so once you kind of get the level uh, of like kind of field of view or whatever you want to uh, get you want to basically just use your legs lock your arms and whether that's if you're holding it from the middle on the side or the side on the side you want to lock your kind of lock your upper body into a position that it won't move a lot and then just walk and use your legs walking in a straight line so you're kind of not going side to side but in a straight line heel to toe um, another thing, um, if you do have shaky hands or the gimbal might be a little heavy, um, you might be able to see the shakiness in the footage itself. So when you're holding it, try to hold it as steady as you can. And like I said, lock your kind of lock your upper body into a uh, position. Okay, so another little thing, um, if you suck at walking backwards, you could just walk forwards and then in post you can go ahead and uh, just rewind the footage and you'll be fine doing that so like I'll do this so I'll just walk towards this car And then I'll put on the screen kind of what it looks like going backwards. So you don't need to keep going forward or backwards or forward or backwards. So. Another thing you're going to see in the edit coming uh, after all these clips are kind of done uh, showing about how I kind of filmed the edit. Um, you're going to notice that the most of the edit is in slow-mo and that's because once I put it into post, which I'm using Premiere, um, I go ahead and usually put it, put the clip down to 65% speed. Um, I've noticed it creates a nice smooth and kind of slow um, video. Although most of the songs I'm using is chill. I mean, it kind of depends on what songs you're using as well. But since I'm using mostly chill music and stuff like that, stuff that's like kind of lo-fi-ish kind of, uh, most of the slow-mo clips look pretty good. Then, um, as you can see, I've kind of taken kind of photography angles to the video. So I guess it's kind of preference as to what you might um, think is good looking with the video. Or if you shoot cars like photo-wise and stuff like that, you might already know what kind of uh, positions of the car or like details of the car that might look good on film. So like here I'm taking a clip of the front headlight. Um, Caden said he switched out the headlights on his car to some aftermarket ones so went ahead and did that. As you can see I'm not really moving too much. I'm trying to move as slightly as I can when I have the gimbal in my hands. And like I said earlier, just walking and using my legs. And honestly, with the gimbal, it takes up, it, I mean, it takes practice get, to get used to it and how to use it. And I'm not the best with it at all. I'm not saying I am, but I mean, it does take practice. And if you don't use it for a while, it might take a little bit of practice again once you start using it to get back in the groove of things. But, <clears throat> um, and then with like panning up shots and panning down shots, you want to 
take into consideration that the time that it, the camera actually takes to level itself so you don't want to move too quick you don't want to move too slow and I mean it's all it, it takes practice like I said so um, yeah the edits just about to come up here so um, I'll let you guys enjoy that and then I'll catch you right after the edit finishes Okay, hopefully you guys enjoyed that little edit and kind of saw what I was talking about earlier with the slow-mo and kind of trying to stay as steady as possible and walk in a straight line when you're taking the shots. Um, if you guys have any other questions about using the gimbal or any techniques or anything you'd like to see later on, uh, put those in the comments and I'll try to uh, either answer them or I can go ahead and kind of make a little video showing different techniques and stuff like that. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like, comment what you thought about it, and if you're new, subscribe to the channel, it means a lot. And I'm trying to pump out the videos as, I mean, frequently as I can. So I think that's going to wrap it up, and it's been Oscar, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.